everyone. We're going to teach you how to make a little bunny for Easter out of a sock. First thing you're going to need is a sock and some rice. If you don't have rice, you could use sand, you could use little beads, you could use um, tiny pasta, anything like that. You're gonna pour it in just enough to make the bunny's body. All right, you're gonna do it to right about there, just enough to make the bunny's little body. And then you're gonna tie it off with some sort of string or rope or anything that you have at your house. So we're just using some yarn. And we're just gonna knot it in the back. You can just cut off the excess because you will not need it. There. All right, so there we go. Now we have our bunny's body. From here, we're going to hold it and we're going to pour some more in to make the bunny's head. I'll do a little more back up. There, perfect. Okay, so from here, we're going to get that yarn again and we're going to tie it off one more time. All right, so we just go like this. Hold up on your back. And we're just gonna knot it right here like this. Again, it's not gonna show, it doesn't matter. Kind of double, triple knot it and cut the excess off. All right, so now we have got a bunny's body and a bunny's head. All right, and you can fill yours more, you can fill it less, whatever you like. From here, we're gonna hold the top part of the sock, which is going to become the bunny's ears. And you're gonna cut like a little triangle out of the sock. So we're just gonna cut it down. And then we're gonna cut it back up again. So that the bunny has his little ears. There! And then Rebecca's gonna put some eyes. And a little nose. Way or wrong way to do this. You can do it with the bunny's eyes open, the bunny's eyes closed. You can give him some eyelashes. And then you're going to take a pink or red marker, whatever you prefer, and you're going to make the bunny's little cheeks. And then you're going to also make his little mouth. It's going to come down and around. Very good, Rebecca. And if you want to give your bunny whiskers, you can, but you don't have to. So this is our little bunny so far. Now we've got to make him a little bit more fancy. So we're going to use pink ribbon today because that's Rebecca's favorite color. But you can use any color you want or whatever you have at your house. And I know right now nobody's going out of their house and we don't want you to go out to get anything to do this. It's just fun to do with stuff that you have already at home. So don't ask mom and dad to go to the store and get anything. Just simply use what you have. And if you don't have any ribbon for now, you can add ribbon later. All right, so we've got this little bunny and we're gonna add his little bow to him. And then you can cut the ribbon short or keep it long, however you would like your bunny to be. There we have it. That's our bunny. All right. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you make some. Send us your pictures if you do because Rebecca and I would love to see them and we will post them at night when we do story time and Mr. Pete may even post them to our Facebook page or anywhere else. All right. See you soon and for those of you that celebrate, happy Easter.